by News 4 at 6. The state's high court takes a stand against meth. Good evening, everyone. I'm Reginald Jones. Thank you for joining us for News 4 at 6. A recent ruling by the Alabama Supreme Court seeks to protect the public from methamphetamine labs. Now, it deals with a case out of Montgomery in which police entered an apartment without a warrant after smelling meth. News 4's Jessica Light joins us in the studio with more on what this ruling means for area law enforcement. Jessica? Local police say this ruling is a step in the right direction. Attorney General Luther Strange says it's the first time the state's highest court has addressed the immediate threat of meth labs and the need for officers to react quickly to contain them. Meth labs in the South in general are not a hidden issue. A Jack resident and his girlfriend most likely are going to spend the holiday behind bars. They seized methamphetamines and meth paraphernalia from a wiregrass woman. In four days, deputies shut down three meth labs. They're quite huge, and because they're so easy to have, you can have a meth lab in a car and just your everyday coolers that you take to the beach. When some of the things used to make meth, like Sudafed, battery acid, and other household cleaners are put together, it can create a deadly combination and result in an explosion. It's a huge threat because it's, it's the danger is, is just, it's not seen. You know, so anybody can be home eating their evening dinner, then the next thing they know they can be a part of an explosion because their next door neighbor had an active meth lab going on. Sergeant Eggleston says the Alabama Supreme Court's ruling is beneficial for everyone. Everyone involved. The courts recognizing this, it helps out everyone, not just law enforcement, but just those people that have no idea of what's going on next door to them. Eggleston says the ruling makes it easier for officers to do their jobs efficiently. If we do have an idea, we're not hindered by the fact of waiting and saying to ourselves, well, we have to go in and get a judge to sign a, a warrant for us to be able to get inside that place and confirm what we know for a fact from our training is an active meth lab. So with this ruling, it does help us to be able to make that decision quicker. Depending on the time of day, if a judge isn't working, it can take anywhere up to 30 minutes to an hour for them to get a warrant signed. And that time could be the difference between someone's life and death. Indeed it could. All right. Thanks a lot, Jessica. In 2013, Alabama had the 14th highest rate of meth incidents in the country with 130.